All right, we Thank talked about Vegas right at the top Thanks, of the show. Thanks. Once you make those high returns, like Ray Dalio says you might, would you head to Las Vegas? You will not be alone. To Vegas, where yesterday Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak lifted casino capacity from 35 percent to 50 percent. Reports say the strip now appears to be nearly back to pre-pandemic levels, although this shot definitely does not show that. <laughs> Completely empty, but, uh, you know, travelers are feeling ready to roll the dice again. Talk about rolling the dice in a monumental move that's lighting up the Vegas business world. The Venetian, the largest single hotel complex in the entire country, has a brand new owner. Vici Properties just spent $4 billion to scoop up the Venetian and its 7,000 plus rooms. The Real Estate Investment Trust looks to bet on all its chips on a booming Vegas recovery, but with no guarantee of a full comeback, is Vici prepared for the wait? Here in a Fox Business exclusive, Vici CEO Ed Petoniak is joining us live. Ed, great to have you back. You know, this was a two-part deal where Venetian owner Las Vegas Sands sold the operating part of the company to Apollo for two and a quarter billion, and he sold Vici, the hotel, it's more than 7,000 rooms, and the real estate. This is a huge all-cash deal for you guys. Why did you go for it? Yeah, Liz, good to be back. Uh, we went for it because it simply represented an opportunity to buy what we think is one of the top five pieces of commercial real estate in America. I don't mean just gaming real estate. I mean any and all real estate. You referred to the 7,000 rooms, the 8 million square feet overall, the 2.3 million square feet of convention space, making it the largest privately owned convention center in America. All of this makes it an iconic piece of real estate. And Sheldon Adelson, I think, will we'll be known uh, forevermore as one of the great American placemakers because of the magnitude of what he built and because what he built around was the concept of Americans loving to gather. We love to gather around the work we do, thus the convention business. We love to gather in the way mm -hmm. we play. We love to gather in the way we associate. So when we, were, when we knew we had the opportunity uh, to buy this in partnership with Apollo, uh, we could not have been more excited, and we're so thrilled to have executed on the opportunity. Well, when I say huge, huge deal, I mean the size of it for you guys. In 2020, you bought five properties. Among them, you had a whole bunch of names in there and five casinos. And now you've hooked, and I know these opportunities come once in a lifetime to get something like the Venetian, but you've hooked the biggest fish in the pond. And you had to sell, what, 69 million shares of stock to raise the cash? Do you worry that you overextended yourself? Or maybe the better way to phrase that question is, how long can you hold on before Vegas comes back 100%? Yeah, so maybe just, we'll start with the end there. How long will it take Vegas to come back? We're already seeing very promising signs. Uh, we're hearing this from our main tenant, Caesars. We're seeing other data points that indicate that the American consumer wants to get back, and they definitely want to get back to places like Las Vegas and Orlando. So we're very confident leisure travel to Las Vegas is going to rebound very strongly starting in Q3. We're already showing, seeing signs, sorry, that uh, convention travel is going to come back in late Q3 and into Q4. But the other thing to understand, Liz, is that we were able to craft a deal with Las Vegas Sands in which Las Vegas Sands is effectively giving a rent guarantee to us, Vici, right, through the right. end of 2023. That obviously substantially reduced the risk for us on in terms of how long it takes for us to come out of COVID. And similarly, they gave vendor financing to Apollo. So we feel we've substantially de-risked the next two and a half years. And beyond that okay. two and a half years, again, we, we believe so strongly in Las Vegas booming back. Ed, you still have about 34 acres of undeveloped land right by the Strip. Is that on the back burner now, or are you still working to put something there and what eventually? Yeah, right now, it wouldn't be a main focus. We're most excited about, about Vegas coming back, and I can't help referring to your prior discussion. Las Vegas is maybe not only a place to bring the money uh, that, that Ray Dalio says you should go make, but we can be a place, a great place to make money. The, uh, the price at which we bought the Venetian is very accretive and very attractive compared to any of the real estate alternatives. And as Vegas comes back, we will obviously be focused on the opportunity to maximize the value out of the lands we own.
Uh, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm watching Vegas very closely because that is, as we say, the mecca of entertainment. And, and if the doors start to open inch by inch a little bit wider, it's going to be a, a certainly a wonderful thing to watch. And we'll be watching the Venetian, right? All rooms are suites. I remember that was the big selling point with the Venetian. Still that way? Yes, it that's right. That's right. And again, you're going to start to see the business coming back. World of Concrete, which may, may or may not be a convention you've attended previously, Liz, is a convention yeah. that's going to take place in June. Again, the signs of life are here. Um, I'm, is that the porno convention? I've been to CES many times. We know <laughs> no, the no, porn the convention is... Yeah, the World of Concrete is what it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> The world of concrete. I'm there. I'd cover that in two Good. seconds, I swear. Ed, it's great to have you. Keep us posted, and uh, we'll be watching the stock, which is, uh, had a pretty good move, up 129% year over year. Ed Petoniak.